Matt Simpson admits his story is inspiring, but like all Paralympians, he prefers to be covered as just an athlete. He's about to participate in his third Paralympic Games for Team USA in the sport of goalball after spending his last year working and training here in Louisville. Matt Simpson fell hard for goalball the first time he tried it as a 10-year-old at a sports camp put on by the U.S. Association of Blind Athletes near his hometown of Atlanta. I picked up, you know, picked up the ball and got on the court for the first time, and I loved it. And I said, I want to I be a Paralympic athlete. I want to represent the USA at this sport. Simpson was born legally blind with a genetic retina condition. He can make out lines for running or swimming, but his ability to play team sports became more limited as his vision got worse. When I found this game where the only thing that would limit me was how good I was and how much I was willing to work towards it. My vision was not a factor for the first time in my life at, at, at goalball. Um, and so I just loved it. I loved being on the team. I loved working towards a common goal. Um, and I loved that once that blindfold was on, it was up to me. Nobody was there to help me. Nobody was there to direct me. It was, it was all up to me and my teammates. Oh! The game is fast-paced and physical, hurling a hard, almost three-pound ball made of rubber and clay with tiny bells inside toward a goal at upwards of 50 miles per hour. All six players on the floor are blindfolded because, yes, people will try to cheat even in blind sports. Defenders do whatever they can to keep the ball out of the net. Your objective is, as the defense is to put your body in front of the ball instead of getting out of the way, which would usually be the prudent course of action. Uh, and so it's a lot like reverse dodgeball. My body is basically just one big callus now. And the power put in by Matt Simpson lifted. Simpson has been earning those calluses as part of the U.S. national team since he was 21. He's now 34 with a wife and three young children. He's also a lawyer, which brought him here to Louisville as a law clerk for the last year. Honored to get to, to wear the red, white, and blue. When talking to other blind kids or their parents, Simpson espouses the virtues of athletics and the hard lessons that translate to everyday life. Ready for another one? And he thanks his parents for never giving in to what he terms, quote, the tyranny of low expectation. If you allow uh, your expectations to lower for your ch for your child or for a blind person for yourself, um, no one else is going to have high expectations of you because the world doesn't. Teach them sports, provide opportunities because that's where they learn the real hard skills, the real lessons that will then translate to everyday life. Simpson was part of the U.S. team that got silver eight years ago. The team begins its quest for gold Friday in pool play against Brazil. And you can read more about Simpson right now from Rick Bozich on WDRB.com. Tom Lane, WDRB Sports.